It is time for the best day ever at sea. We are here on the Disney Dream to show you everything you need to know in order to have your best day ever on a Disney cruise. Today we are going to show you a little bit of everything on this Disney Dream, from dining to entertainment to even an onboard water coaster. We are going to show you what we think will help you have the best day ever on your next trip aboard the Disney Dream. Good morning everyone, it is bright and early and it is time for our best day ever here on the Disney Dream. Oh, I'm so excited. I do think you can't do a best day ever though without having a little breakfast. A little breakfast and some coffee. I know just the place. Now for our coffee this morning on our best day ever, we are in Cove Cafe, which is in the adults only section of the ship because they have amazing coffee that we've already had multiple times this trip and it's our favorite and of course we're gonna get it on our best day ever all right we got our coffee it's the salted caramel coconut latte and it's amazing this is the fourth one we've had did you finish your card yeah i finished my card so that's five so you At get least. a free one yeah that is one deal that they're running while we're here. I don't know if that's permanent, so don't necessarily hold your breath on that one. But they've given us cards that if you get five copies, you pay for them, of course. Then you get a sixth one for free. And I filled my card up. Have you filled your card up? I think I still have two more. So, so. that means we're at nine, though, between the two of us. Oh, no. If you want to check out everything that Cove Cafe has to offer, but you've got some little ones in your group that can't come back to the adult section, you can head to Vista Cafe in the atrium and they've got the same stuff for you. So if you want to try out this coffee that we're raving about, you can grab it at Vista Cafe. All right, and this morning for breakfast, we are heading to Cabana's. This is the general buffet area on the ship for breakfast and lunch. However, when you're docked at Castaway Key, you will not be having lunch here on that day. You'll be having lunch on the island, but this is where we're grabbing breakfast this morning. Yummy, what all did you get? I honestly would rather not say. I got a Mickey <laughs> waffle with some whipped cream and some strawberry jam. Yum. Eggs Benedict. I love salmon. I wanted like box and cream cheese bagel. I don't know what happened. I ended up with just salmon <laughs> and the sausage and one piece of bacon to try it. Yum. What about you? All right, my plate. Eggs, bacon, Mickey waffle with some syrup and Eggs Benedict. So before you even start your Disney cruise, one thing you're gonna need to do before you even get on the boat is download the Disney Navigator app. So this is the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app and it is a free app that helps you navigate the ship and see the schedule of the day and even text your travel party while you're on board using the ship's Wi-Fi. Prior to your cruise, you can book all of your port adventures, adult exclusive dining options, spas, and more excursions on the app. When you're on your Disney cruise, you can get up-to-date information all about what's happening on board, including character experiences, deck parties, dining, movies and live shows, nightclubs and lounges, spas and salons, fitness recreation, youth clubs, pools and splash zones, and ports of call. The Navigator app also features a daily onboard calendar of events and things to do. It also operates as your personal itinerary with all of your booked activities in one convenient place. There's a personal planner so you can save time on your schedule and you can favorite your activities so that way you know what you value and it will send you reminders before those activities start. This also has rotational dining details including times, location information, and even your table number. There's a complete deck plan and guide to the ship online so you can explore all of it. In that onboard chat we mentioned, it allows you to send messages and Disney emoticons to multiple friends and family members all at once on your app. Although we cannot promise that it's always going to work consistently. So far for Friday night, it has worked pretty well, but sometimes just like Wi-Fi, it can be a little bit spotty. All right, friends, now it is time for a quick little room tour. And it will be quick because this is a cruise and these are little. Let's go. So first things first, just like any Disney uh, room, you are going to have your key to the world. However, we don't have our magic bands in here. So this is truly our key to the world. And then here is fry buckets because you have to have your key to the world to turn your lights on. Wow, this is it. Okay, first thing that we get to right here on your right, we have two closets. As you can see, our lovely dresses are already in it. And then down here we have our safe in case that's something that you don't want to utilize. And then your life vest and everything. Over here, just a closet, more life vests and then your robes. Okay, and then to the left, the first little room that you have is the bathroom, just the toilet. 
And then separate from your bathroom is actually where your shower is going to be and you do have a separate sink as well. You have some storage areas right over here. And then here is the bed. It's a pretty good size in my opinion. This is actually huge <laughs> for a cruise. Mm -hmm. And luckily underneath, there is lots of storage for your luggage. This also comes down. We will not be needing it this time, so they are not going to pull it down for us. Here is like the sitting area. This is where I'm going to be sleeping. So this turns into a bed. It's super simple. You just pull on that black tie right there, and there it is, a bed. And then finally here you have um, kind of your makeup sitting area. Again, a lot of storage through this area. Here at the top is where you're gonna find a lot of your plugins and then different light switches and things like that. And then finally here is the little mini fridge. Again, it's pretty decent size. Luckily for a cruise, you're really not gonna have a lot of leftovers or anything, but we did bring Gideon's cookies. Don't say anything, okay? All right, so this is the veranda. It has two chairs and um, a table out here. It's actually a pretty good size. And even though she's not with us, this is not in replacement of her. This is in honor of her. Yes. Quincy Bed Science. Are you ready? Yes. I'm nervous. Okay. <laughs> One. We can't jump too high. One, yeah. two, three. <laughs> This was a good, this one was good. Yes. Okay, yeah. immediately I feel supported. Mm -hmm. it's I feel soft. good, it's soft, but we didn't sink per se. No, we're still on top. Yeah, no, this is not, okay, we gotta check pillows. Okay, yeah. I could already tell you she would love this. Mm -hmm. There's a good amount of sinkage. It's really fluffy around your face. I mean, you can see how much it's come up. I like this. I, I feel we're gonna good. Sleep good. I feel like we're gonna sleep really good. We're basically gonna be like in a cradle. Mm -hmm. being rocked to sleep on the open water. So there are four main categories that encompass the 10 different types of room if you are staying on the Disney Dream. First is the concierge uh, category. There are three different types of rooms. These are their most luxurious rooms uh, and they each have a private veranda and they come with amenities and services that the others don't. So those three rooms are the concierge royal suite with the veranda, the concierge one bedroom suite with the veranda, and the concierge family ocean view stateroom with a veranda. Those are definitely the nicest and most luxurious that they have to offer. The second category is just the veranda. This is their most spacious non-concierge staterooms, which is what we actually are in today. So first is the deluxe family ocean stateroom with a veranda. The second is the deluxe ocean view stateroom with a veranda, and that's what we have currently. And then there is the deluxe ocean view stateroom with a navigator's veranda. For the third category, there is the ocean view. This is where you get to kind of enjoy a little bit more space and you do at least get to see the ocean through a real porthole window, maybe two if you're really lucky. And those two are the deluxe family ocean view staterooms and the deluxe ocean view stateroom. Finally, there is the inside rooms. This is their most base accommodations. They're simplest rooms and probably their cheapest. And they have a classic nautical porthole mirror. Uh, you do not get to see outside, but some of them are even animated. So they have the deluxe inside stateroom and then the standard inside stateroom. All right, and on this day, we are docked in Mexico in Cozumel. So that is where we are headed. We're gonna get off the ship. Now on our cruise, while we've been here, we've had a Marvel day at sea and we had a day at Castaway Key, Disney's private island. So we are about to get off the ship. Very important to know. Passport. Passport. Key to the world card. Key to the world. IDs. Yeah. You need them all because you need to get back on the ship. Yes, and even kiddos who are not over 18 are gonna need their key to the world card to get back on the ship. So everybody in your party needs to make sure they have this. All right, we are off the ship. We are heading towards Mexico, and we can see a couple people getting onto some boats out here. Of course, there are many excursions that you can take on your day at port, and those are super fun. You should definitely check them out, see if you're interested. There's things like swimming with dolphins, there's boat tours, there's jet skis, all that kind of fun stuff. However, we do recommend that you look into booking those with Disney through Disney because if you do so then Disney will know what time your excursion is they will know if you're not back on the ship yet because if you don't book with Disney they're not gonna know where you are so just for safety reasons and just to make sure you get back on the boat before it leaves we recommend booking any kind of excursions through Disney
All right, Emma, our goal is to find souvenirs. addition to Disney Cruise Line is that they do have a screen out here on the pool deck. They play Disney movies all day long. So you could hang out here on the pool deck all day, have a Disney movie marathon, and have some fun. Yesterday during Marvel Day at Sea, they would play different Marvel movies, different Marvel TV shows. So there's something always going on on this screen. It's a lot of fun. So now we are headed to the Aqueduct, which is an onboard water coaster. This is a 765 foot ride located on deck 12, aft area of the ship, and it includes a four deck drop. The water slide actually goes over the side of the ship, which is kind of scary, but also really fun. Guests ride either single or double in a raft on a stream of water through a mostly clear tube. And now we have made it to the adults only section of the ship. This is the Quiet Cove pool, which is adults only. It's 18 or older. No kids are allowed back here. So this is a very relaxing spot for adults to hang out. This is where Cove Cafe is. There's two bars back here, plenty of seating, plenty of hot tubs, even seats in the pool at the bar. So it's very relaxing. So a few things to note about the adults only area. First, this seat, significantly nicer than the ones in the family area. Just It's more cozy, more plush, and there's a little pillow on it. Also here, there is, this is just like the family um, area, but they also have it here. There's a butler service. And next to each of the tables, uh, each of the seating, there is a drink and champagne, beer, and cocktail list. So we already ordered just one, because it's our it is our best day. So we did go ahead and order one, but if you're curious, there is also bar seating in the adult pool, which we think is pretty cool. The Dream was built in Germany, just like a lot of the other Disney Cruise Liners, and the maiden voyage was on January 26, 2011. The passenger capacity is about 4,000, and there are even 10 different dining options, which does include the Wreck-It Ralph themed ice cream shop, Vanilla Piece. Cheers. 
Luckily for us, right next to Cove is the Flo's V8 Cafe. Flo's Cafe is another quick service option here on board the Disney Dream. This is where you can head to Luigi's Pizza and grab some pizza slices, or you can even go to Tomater's Grill and get things like hamburgers, chicken nuggets, grilled chicken, or even their sandwich of the day. And finally, you can go to Fillmore's Favorites where you can grab some sandwiches, paninis, fresh fruits, wraps, and salads all made to order. Flo's Cafe is actually steps away from both of the pools. So that means if you're looking for a poolside snack and you don't want to go to Cabana's, you can grab a plate and bring it right back. I grabbed a burger from Tomater's Grill and then she grabbed some pizza from Luigi and we brought it right back to our seats and we're gonna enjoy here right by the pool with our drinks. The moment that I have been waiting for all day. So today for our spa experience, we're going to stop at Senses Spa and Salon. This is a high-end salon that offers services and treatments inside of an elegant spa that does have an ocean view. But if you have some kiddos who are interested in joining you as well, they even have a chill spa, which is a teen spa where teens are invited to indulge in soothing beauty treatments created just for them that are age appropriate. to Goofy Sports Deck. This is the sports deck on the top of the ship. It's an open air activity center that features a miniature golf course, virtual sports simulators, and a basketball court. Are goofy. So we did something. It is not a best day without a stop at this place. And after we've been so sporty for who knew about us, I mean, we could have been probably, if we hadn't torn our ACL, we could have been Michael Jordan. I know. Truly. Yeah. Uh, back in middle school, that really put us behind. Yes. But we deserved a reward. We did. For doing this. So where did we go? Vanilla <laughs> And guess what we got? The go kart Sunday. If you have not checked it out already, Vanilla Peas is the Wreck It Ralph themed ice cream shop here on board. It is open select hours of the day, and you can get these crazy Sundays like the go kart Sunday and the family challenge Sunday. We could not handle the family challenge. It is six scoops of ice cream, and I couldn't even tell you how many toppings. The go kart is more our speed. Three scoops of ice cream, five toppings, and whipped cream, cherries, and the logo is included. So our first scoop of ice cream, we went with the King Candy flavor, which is strawberry with Skittles. How Very excited. King Candy? Had to get it. And then we each chose our own flavor because there's three. So I chose Java Chip. Yes, and I chose brownie batter chocolate. Because <laughs> we figured go big or go home. Oh, yes. Will we be able to eat all of this? I will. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, we did for our toppings. We chose so many, so we got sliced well, you strawberries. Get, you, get five. you get five. Sliced strawberries, um, crushed waffle cone, crispy chocolate pearls, unicorn sprinkles, and gummy beers. <laughs> Um, it's our best day. Yeah, it's our best day. We're on vacation on Disney Cruise, and okay? There's nowhere else that you can eat ice cream like this except Disney World and enjoy it and not feel guilty. 
and I enjoy every bite. Oh, I'll be eating this whole thing. <laughs> So one thing about the vanilla pea thing, we couldn't finish quite all of it and know that we were gonna eat dinner, but we ate a good portion of it. Uh, but with the $12.95 go-kart, you actually get to keep the bowl and the, it's kind of cool. And there's sinks right outside of cabanas where you can come rinse it out and clean it so that way you can let it dry in your room and then put it in your bag and take it home. A little souvenir. Emma has been waiting for all week. <laughs> it's so finally here. So we are on level five. Yes. We are doing the Midship Detective Agency. There are two versions though. I've done one. I've never done the Muppets version. Oh, exciting. So in this game, Kermit is receiving phone calls that some of the props are missing from the show and we have to figure out what's going on, figure out who done it. And apparently we've got some suspects so we have to figure out who done it. I can't think about that. Someone has taken all our props and we can't perform our show without them. because we want you to do it yourself yes. on your best day ever on the cruise. Yes. But really I'm fun. gonna find out who it is. We're gonna finish it. We just don't wanna spoil it for you because I'm actually having a ton of fun doing this. It's really fun, actually. Well, if you can't tell, it is pirate night. We went to our room, we changed into our pirate outfits, and now we're heading to dinner. Ahoy, baby. Ahoy. Honestly, right now it feels like more people are dressed up for pirate night than Marvel Day at Sea. During Pirate Night, you can eat, dance, and be merry at a Buccaneer Bash fit for a pirate. Now, these happen on select cruises, and depending on your cruise, will differentiate your Pirate Night. You can enjoy trivia, games, and meet and greets with characters dressed in their pirate garb. And tonight, we are dining at the Royal Palace. So, something about Disney Cruise Line specifically, they came up with this idea of rotational dining. So, each night of your cruise, you will be dining in a different restaurant. These meals are included in that base price of your cruise. However, you will be having the same server, same wait staff every night they follow you to your restaurants. So that's a really cool, fun concept. Our server is named Erica. We love her. She is amazing and she has learned what we like, what we don't like. So she can give us recommendations based on that. They will have your drinks ready for you the next night once they learn what you love. All right, just like the rest of our uh, dining experiences, we do have a bread service to start with, and it's warm French country bread with an olive spread. All right, and to start us off with our drinks for the evening, mine is on the left, it's the red one. This is the double crown. It's Crown Royal, Chambord, Contro, cranberry juice, and freshly squeezed lime juice. I got the Imperial Illusion, and it's absolute mandarin, apple pucker, blue carousel liqueur, and pineapple juice. Last day. I personally really enjoy it, but probably wouldn't get two. Pretty much, I'm only tasting cranberry juice, which I enjoy, so I like it. And appetizers. I got the breaded and deep fried brie with an orange and cranberry chutney. Mm, I 
got the ice lobster and jumbo shrimp salad with green asparagus, horseradish cream, and dill dressing. Next up for our soup and salad course, we both chose the French onion soup. Because what's more French? I'm making it. I'm so it is sorry. It's dripping on my arm. I'm so sorry. Lucky for us, it's not too bad. I personally would have liked a, maybe a few more onions, a little bit more caramelized, and quite a bit more cheese for just some additional flavor. For dinner, I got the crispy roasted duck breast, and it comes with cabbage, shallots, a honey parsnip mash, and a duck red wine juice. So I'm very excited about this. Then I got the filet, the steak. It's roasted filet steak, fresh new potatoes with shallots, buttered green beans, red wine juice, and a Bernays sauce on the side. I really like duck, um, so I'm probably biased a little bit. I knew I would probably like it anyways, but it's very tender while the uh, breast is very crispy on the outside skin. Okay, my steak is very good. I am enjoying it. I ordered it medium. It's very juicy. It's tender like you expect a medium steak to be. Love the potatoes. Green beans, not any flavor there. They're cooked well, but there's no flavor. So they need a little salt and pepper. Greetings. You know pirates can be dreadful men then. Suppose I had all hold on to them for you, keep them safe. You know, I would trust you, but these are on lock. I feel good. If I need help, I'll let you know though. I'll be here. Wakes me, I suppose. Now Pirate Night has officially started. Everybody's in their costumes. Disney actually gives you these bandanas in your room. So that's fun if you don't have anything to dress up with. You've got your bandanas. All right, so we've got about an hour before our next festivities. So what better thing to do on your best day ever than do a little shopping. Shopping. Should we bring Sage a souvenir? You know they have these in Magic Kingdom. Oh, they're pretty impressive. I actually do love <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little The golden Mickey I would just goes like... to. <laughs> I never thought this day would come. I would just like to thank Fry Bucket, Quincy, the entire All Ears cast. I, I wouldn't be here without you. Oopsie! We bought the <laughs> surprise, surprise. I just went with two simple pins one for our cruise and then one for Marvel Day at Sea because. I like a small little memory that fits in my carry-on. Yeah, cute. I also bought the Marvel Day pin, and I ended up getting a spirit jersey because the only spirit jersey I have is from The Wish, my little collection. So while we mainly shopped at Mickey's Main Sale today, the Disney Dream actually offers eight different shopping options here, uh, including Mickey's Main Sale. They are Bippy Boppity Boutique, Carriage Jewels, Diamond and Wishes Mickey Main Sales, Sea Treasures, Shutters Photo Gallery, Vanellope Suites and Treats, and White Caps. And technically Vanellope Suites and Treats is considered shopping because outside of gelato and ice cream, they also sell some cupcakes and other sweets and treats. Now, normally on nights of your cruise, there is a show happening each night. So far on this cruise, we've seen the Golden Mickeys, which we both loved, and we saw Beauty and the Beast. Both are Broadway-level productions, and they happen here in the Walt Disney Theater. Now tonight, because it is pirate night, there is no show. However, there is a magician in there right now. I think you have the best pirate outfit out of anyone. <laughs> Isn't it pretty good with the eye patch? I wanted to do a little something, but it's nothing <laughs>
Everyone's gonna watch fireworks. here with the seas belonging to us pirates. It behooves us to enjoy the drink and merriment meant for those born of the sea. show just ended. What did you think? I really enjoyed it. It was a little bit less than what I remember from a yeah. cruise a couple years ago, but they've obviously changed it. It's not the same thing. Still super fun. Lots more fireworks than I was expecting. Yes. Lots of fireworks. The show was significantly smaller. Jack still did come out, but that was really about it. Um, I know in the past, like, Red used to come out and pirates flew across the top of the ship when they would fight. It is significantly smaller. We do believe that's because Bumble Day at Sea is kind of the showstopper here. It's not really pirates as much for this particular journey, um, but we're really excited about it. It was a really great show and lots of fireworks. It's always a plus in our book. Yes. And now, you see it. yeah, absolutely. And now that it's towards the end of the night and it's still our best day ever, I think we need to go to one of the lounges just to make sure it's the best day. <laughs> I think so too. And now we are heading to Pink Wine and Champagne Bar. This is located in the district, which is an adults only area on the Disney Dream with a bunch of fun different venues designed to celebrate nightlife for adults. And here at Pink Wine and Champagne Bar, they serve champagne, champagne cocktails, sparkling wines, plus mixed drinks, single malt whiskeys, and cognac. Also fun fact about Pink, the whole entire room is designed to look like the inside of a champagne bottle. I said to the night, and I have to admit to you, mm -hmm. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm very tired. It is after midnight. It is. We truly did a best day ever. We did. Top to bottom best day. I have to say my favorite part of the day was probably Sensa Spa. I have not been that relaxed <laughs> in a really long time. And it was so nice and the wait staff was so attentive. Not that that, I mean the whole staff on the entire Dream Cruise have been incredibly kind and attentive and anything we needed they handled. Um, but I just really in particular liked that. I think my favorite part of the day was probably the fireworks. I think that's just a really cool thing that Disney does only on Disney Cruise Line. Plus who doesn't love fireworks? You know? It's super fun, super fun. Um, I think we pretty much did everything on the ship. Yeah, I mean, the thing about any Disney cruise that you're gonna go on, whether it's three nights or it's five nights or however long, is it's impossible to do everything on the ship. <laughs> they schedule a lot of things at the same time. They have a lot of different things for people with different interests. Truly, unless you are ready to divide and conquer with your group, you're probably not gonna be able to do everything or see all the characters, depending on what you're doing. But I think that also is really exciting because it means there's always something new to do every day. If you don't wanna be lazy on this trip, you don't have to be. And we certainly got to do a lot, a lot, a lot. I think it was absolutely the best day ever. Best day. And now to end the best day ever, we go to sleep. That is the best day. Now go watch Quincy talk about the must do's on a Disney cruise. See you later. Just tell him to like and subscribe.